What's going on guys? Millie Bobby Boucher here coming back at you with another video and today we're back on the 49ers franchise in season number three today facing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Raymond James in Tampa Bay coming off a 34 to 20 victory over the Carolina Panthers at home for our season and home opener and now we head out immediately onto the road to face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and uh we'll see what they're throwing at us. Should be another win. We beat the Panthers. I think they were a better team than this Buccaneers team is going to be. But, you know, any game can go any way. Hopefully, they employ the same strategy that the Panthers did, run the ball every single play for the most part, and our beastly front seven shuts them down. That's what we invested in, in terms of draft picks, development. Um, not so much with signing players, but we have invested in super young, talented core on that front seven. And they've made plays against Carolina. Hopefully, the same happens in Tampa Bay. And Jameis Winston can't pick apart our defense. And they just hand the ball off and we stop them. And it's going to be a... I'm going to be honest. It's going to be a shit rainy day here in Tampa Bay. As we are coming out in some nice looking jerseys with the black pants. It's kind of an odd combo. I don't know. I didn't choose that. Uh, yeah, it looks okay, I guess. The black pants are a fun change, I guess. It's Spencer Ware. That's a big hit from Solomon Thomas. He holds on. And there's an injury. Oh, I hate injuries, dude. The injury rating is so low. It's like 9. So we're trying to play defense there. Over the middle. Take a shot, Jameis. He's going deep. Obi Melifon was there. It's picked off by Jacorius Ward, though. The first interception in his young career. And Jacorius Ward is down finally at the 32. What a play by the rookie. Great ball skills. And Derek Winfield, the rookie out of Nebraska, dislocated his ankle. And we're going to see Ray Ray Armstrong come back into a starting role maybe next game. But he's taking the place of Derek Winfield here at left outside linebacker. That's open. That's open. Dante Buchanan didn't keep his feet in bounds, really. Threw that ball a little late. I didn't expect him to get that separation. We might want to challenge that. We're going to throw the challenge flag on that one. And we're going to skip. I'm not going to make you guys watch it when they don't show the feed anyway. And we lose a timeout. Saying he did not catch it. I don't know, man. It looked like he caught it. Inbounds. I mean, he definitely caught it, but that's going to be open. Here he is again. Dante Buchanan. Make guys miss. Oh, he's breaking tackles. His elusiveness rating is actually really, really high. And he has some really good traits as well. This is a player we're going to keep going back to a lot consistently over the course of this next series what a draft pick he has he was i mean awesome preseason good value we're gonna find josh gordon there can't forget about him but this passing attack has just been so different here um just going off the of last game i guess i mean it's just it looks like a different team because we've been more careful with the football as we're gonna find dante buchanan inside the 10 and we're just moving the football it's an effective offense efficient so we're gonna find uh marcus wiley in at halfback hand him off the ball and marcus wiley has space and he's into the end zone for the touchdown his first career rushing touchdown there it is popping up on the screen as he gets one before his brother walter i mean i guess it makes sense he's a little bit higher on the depth chart there at running back number two and we're gonna be up seven nothing early here it's Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Already in this game, we've seen uh, Jameis Winston take a way larger shot than we saw Cam Newton take all the last game. And this is also Quan Alexander's return to the Tampa Bay area, which is kind of cool since he was traded. Hopefully he makes them pay today. Is that a sack? It's Aaron Lynch. It's his second sack in the season, I believe. Here's the brother of Marcus Wiley. He just saw his brother get his first career touchdown. And Walter going to break a tackle. Show off some speed. Walter Wiley back to the left side. Going to look to find the edge. Walter Wiley can't do it. He's had a couple of really nice returns so far in his career. Hasn't been able to find the end zone, though. Similar story to Sanchez Heaney, who's found space, has found success. But I don't remember him getting many punt return touchdowns. Second and eight now. We're going to go deep. We're going to take the shot. Dante Buchanan, he caught the ball. Wow. Clearly out of bounds, obviously. He made that catch. I'm telling you. He's a playmaker. We're audible here to a run. Marcus Wiley. Looking to the outside. Show off the speed. Lower the shoulder. Can't do it. Well, he did it. He just got stopped. 
We're going to throw that ball. Cummings, stay in bounds. Came too early, went too far. And, uh, yeah, couldn't keep his feet in bounds or make the catch. We can go back to a run here with Marcus Wiley in the game. He's been fresh and playing well. And Marcus Wiley trying to fight to the end zone. Can't get there, but down to the one. We're going to have to settle for the field goal attempt. And uh, we're likely going to drill this one. And we do. 10 nothing. Get the Reuben Foster. That's a sack. Took down Jameis Winston before he could even think about handing off the ball. It's a play action. And uh, either read perfectly or terribly from Reuben Foster, one or the other. Regardless, the effect is positive for our Niners. It's going to be a run. Reuben Foster can't get there. It makes a tackle anyway. Can't get there in the backfield, though. Tried to swallow that one up. And will that change? Will Jameis take a shot deep here? That's going to be a perfect throw nearly. And almost caught by Deshaun Jackson off the tip. Should have been probably intercepted by a Niner there. But regardless, Tampa Bay will punt. First and 10 for the Niners. Still looking to get something going here. Going to find Dante Buchanan there. Who flips forward for the first down, I believe. He's been very involved in the offense thus far. We've been forcing him the ball. And he's been making plays. He's got a one-on-one -on, -one on that right side. We want to streak Sanchez Heaney cleared out from that side. He's got tremendous speed. We're going to have to roll out with Jimmy Garoppolo. Show off the wheels. He breaks a tackle. Go, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. We're going to step out of bounds here wisely to avoid the Vernon Hargraves hit. But Jimmy Garoppolo, I like it. Let's get something going here in first and 10. We're still passing. Jonu Smith might have him beat over the top. We're going to give him the ball. Jonu Smith, make a play. Can't quite. That's excellent defense there. Thought he might have had a chance. Third and 14. We're going to go over the middle there. It's a diving catch from Dante Buchanan. We're just going to play it safe and go up 13. Third and three. Oh, that was almost a great decision by Seamus Winston. It was a good decision. He just totally missed the mark. On third down in the rain. Ball must have slipped. It's going to be fourth and three, and they'll punt again. Josh Gordon's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Do we throw it up to him? We're going to try it. Josh Gordon. Makes the catch! Alright, I might have to turn catching down a, a little bit. Considering, like, we've gotten a couple of these. Uh, and I don't want it to be as often as it's been. So, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna touch catching. For sure. What a route. We're gonna throw that ball. Dante Buchanan! End zone! Holds on! Touchdown! Look at the rookie getting open. Holding on to the ball. His first ever touchdown. He's been very involved. That's his first ever touchdown. It is week two, of course, but he's been involved. I just shanked it. I shanked this. I was, I was too excited. We're in the second quarter, and Tampa Bay has 11 total yards of offense. They keep trying to do things that we stop, and that's play action, and that's run. Reuben Foster with his second sack of the game. Read the play action beautifully. Got after the quarterback. You can't do that. The user, honestly, is a little bit OP. But I'm, I'm not going to stop. No! No, 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 no! Get after him, Jacorius! Jeez, dude. I didn't expect that to happen at all. Okay. Yeah, you can't run on this. Man. Shut up, all right? We stopped him, and he broke a tackle somehow. Did I miss up? Did I not see a tackle battle? I might have been blind there for a moment. She's going to go play action. We're going to shut this down. Oh, no! He dropped it! <laughs> you idiot! That's wide open. Someone's got to be there. Can we tackle? Can we tackle in this game? Perry Cox lets him go. It's a first down. That's a free first down we just gave him. I know we're up 19. I don't want to be up 19 and then just, oh, you know, here's some yards here and there. We've been getting destroyed since going up. This has not been a good sequence since it mixed extra point. That's mine. No, it's not. It's Sean Jackson's. That's a pick. It's Ray Ray Armstrong. I don't know how this guy makes so many plays. He's literally not even good stat-wise. This is the guy that forces fumbles when no one else on my team can. This is a guy that catches interceptions somehow. He just found Ray Ray Armstrong. I mean, I'll take it. That's a huge hit. 
We're going to throw that ball. It's Sanchez Heaney. He has speed. Oh, no. Tackle from behind by VH3. Josh Gordon could be open over the top here. Doesn't get a great burst. Ah, oh, man. I tried to... I tapped R2, uh, or RT on Xbox, and he ran packed, or ran back the other way when I tried to step up in the pocket uh, and actually escape the pocket. I'm going to streak Buchanan. Oh, he's past him. Hold your fucking block for a second. God, man. Just a second. Hold your block. One second. Couldn't even fucking do that. All right, the Bucks clearly not trying to score. I doubt they'll even snap the ball again. They're going to get to the line with time, but I don't think they're going to snap it. No, he does. And he's going to pay for it. In the form of a tackle from somebody else. Okay. We've just outplayed the NFC South this year. Panthers, now Bucks. I really don't think it's the sliders, guys. I don't. Uh, I'm going to make some changes to, like, catching and stuff. I think it needs to be a bit lower. But, I mean, I feel like I like the way they play for the most part. Quarterbacks, I mean, not Cam Newton, but Jameis Winston took a chance this game. I like to see that. I think the coverage is pretty good. Players still get open on both sides of the ball. But, you know, we're just playing We're playing better on offense, which is something I didn't do last year. I made just bad reads. Like, right there. That's a terrible read. That's terrible. I... Uh, every single time it happens, and I, that's my first interception of the year with Jimmy Garoppolo. Every single time I do that, I always expect something else to happen. But I use Playmaker, and they don't actually go full Playmaker, and they just kind of fucking stop. And I don't expect them to randomly stop near the sideline. I expect them to keep going on a streak the way I'm still holding the button to do, and they just don't do it. So then I end up lobbing the ball short and getting intercepted. Which then that's why you have target passing. Target passing is the shittiest thing ever implemented. It does not work. It is not easy to use. It is stupid. And it's it's an absolute waste. I'm there. It's play action. I recognized it. Get off the block. He's throwing it. And of course, overthrown. Willis Burdine could not make a play on the ball. But Mike Evans, for the most part, has been shut down. I don't even know if he has a catch. Willis Burdine really hasn't been tested the entire year. Is he just a shut down corner now? I'm not I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, he got toasted by Kelvin Benjamin last game. What am I talking about? Never mind. Go for the hit. Go for the hit. End his career. Go for the knee. <laughs> oh, Joey Cummings. Look at the blocking. Look at the blocking. Finally, it's fantastic as Joey Cummings busts off his biggest yard of the game. He's still only averaging three per carry after that awesome run. Not aw That was pretty good. So, uh, we've been passing the ball a little bit. There's Dante Buchanan up the middle. He's got the speed. Not, like, a lot of it, but a decent bit. He's having a great game. Six catches for 102 yards and a touchdown. He's probably not done. It's the third quarter. Marcus Wiley's in the game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the football. Marcus Wiley to the outside. Blocking is great. Marcus Wiley into the end zone for the touchdown. His second career touchdown, and it's a 39-yarder. As he blows a kiss to somebody, I get a, a dead parent, it looks like, by that gesture, and I've shanked another one. I, I, yeah, I, I had that come. I deserve that one. Yeah, celebrate over another missed extra point, Gerald McCoy, you idiot. Look at the scoreboard, crackhead. They haven't been able to get anything going all, all game. And uh, I don't think they're going to be able to still... And that is actually wide open. Darkwa. That's Perry Cox, the rookie nickel corner in coverage. Uh, gives that one up. Third and 11 for Jameis Winston. Best case scenario here. Um, well, for, for us, I think we hold him to a field goal attempt. Because I'm not going to bank on a turnover. Is he going to take a shot to the end zone? Picked off Willis Burdine. What a dumb throw. We're going to take this one out. We have space. We, we don't have the speed, though. Willis Bird, I'm going to take it out to the 21. Why did Jameis Winston take that shot? Just not wise. Throws a streak. Willis Bird, I'm right there. Interception. Love to see it. Fourth quarter now. As we can pretty much kill this game. Uh, Gerald McCoy is really hard to run on. Seven rushes for 16 yards for Joey Cummings. Marcus Wiley's been much more effective. But uh, it's been in different scenarios. Yeah, we're likely going to throw here on third and nine. 
Play action to Marcus Wiley, who checked in. We're actually going to throw to him. And there's just nowhere to go. Jimmy just barely got that ball off. That's got to be a pick. Wow, how does Jameis Winston thread the needle there? I was hoping somebody would jump for that. Unfortunately not. I mean, he's taken some chances. Just hasn't really gotten the completions. Six yards per attempt is, I mean, not good. But, you know, it's better than what Cam Newton did last game, considering uh, his amount of attempts and completions for his actual yardage. That's wide open. It's lobbed. Obi with the interception. Obi Melifonwu. There we go, baby. Yeah, it's, things are just not going well for the Bucks this game. I might try to run on third and ten here. Just two clocks since we're up, you know, by, uh, by a decent bit here. Marcus Wiley's in the game. We'll give him the ball. There's nowhere to go. Try to take that outside. Absolutely nowhere to go. Tampa Bay finally moving the ball. I mean, give him that. Jameis Winston throws, uh, has thrown four interceptions so far this game, which is not ideal for him. But uh, I'm telling you, they, they're coming alive in the fourth quarter like a lot of teams do against us. But we've been, we've been dominant so far in this game. It'd be a shame if we collapse now. Because, I mean, this game is not over yet. Jameis Winston off the mark. I'm telling you, this rain, it's hard to throw the football in in this game. Why is that so open, man? That's just perfectly finding the uh, spot in the defense, in the zone defense. Yeah, I mean, we were in hard flats there. Like, you can't play that much better than Jameis Winston did. We're there. That's perfect coverage. Perfect coverage. And it's a coverage sack. Aaron Lynch with his second sack of the game. And we have really not been getting pressure with anybody else been Aaron Lynch and it's been linebacker blitzes uh with Ruben Foster are not designed Aaron Lynch is the only one that's beating his man that's a user pick easy reads it's with Arthur Brown stay in the end zone uh uh the giving tree easy reads oh Joey Cummings put the ball on the ground you gotta not do that I think we recovered as Chris Baker ripped it out, yeah, we did. Third and six. 40 seconds to play here about. And this game's going to be over. Third and six. Marcus Wiley's wide open. And there he goes. And that's the ball game. As we have won here again. I'm going to adjust the sliders after this. Because even though like I felt like they played well last season. And then we made them even harder. It's still playing a little easy. 16 for 21, Jimmy G. One touchdown, one interception. Jameis was no passing touchdowns, five interceptions. 196 yards. Rushing, Joey Cummings was shut down, but Marcus Wiley had a day. Two touchdowns as well for him. And then receiving touchdowns, Dante Buchanan, six for 102 with a touchdown. It's pretty nice. Blocking, I mean, we're still letting up sacks. It's not great. Two for Ruben Foster in terms of sacks. Two tackles for Aaron Lynch or sacks. Interceptions. One for Arthur Brown, Obi Melifonwu, Ray Ray Armstrong, Willis Burdine, and Vernon Hargraves for the Bucks. sir. Force fumbles. Coney Ely. Got it, actually. That's going to be it for this game, but the video's not over. So Derek Winfield's going to be out for six weeks. The rookie is. That's going to hurt his chances for defensive rookie of the year, let me tell you. Who regressed? Joey Cummings. Awareness is down too. That's not good. He didn't have a great game. What can you what can you say? As we're gonna face the Ravens here in week number three. Do some scouting finally. Bradley Pinion's gonna be a free agent again. That's interesting. Who else will be here? DeForest Buckner, Richard Robinson, Jahad Ward, who hasn't really played much this season. Interesting options there. I, think I might actually offer DeForest Buckner a contract here and now. He is 25 years old. I will offer you 4.4, maybe even a bit less, over six years. Play till you're 31. Will you be a 49er? And DeForest Buckner resigns. High priority. Welcome back. What we're also going to do is change a couple of things. One, pass blocking up to a 75. Um, fumbles... We're going to make that happen a little bit less frequently. 45 for the CPU. Actually, you know what? We're going to go 42. Um, I'm going to pass blocking for them. I think needs to be down. We'll go 21. Catching for us. We're going to go 55. 
I think that's fair. Uh, what else do I want? We're going to turn up run blocking for the CPU. We're going to go 40. Tackling seems about good for both sides. Maybe we'll go like 55 or so. I know we had a couple of broken tackles, but we're going to try that. Uh, run blocking, I think it's fine where it is. Injuries, I'm going to turn down to a 7. Still too many happen, I think. Uh, fatigue, I'm going to turn that up. Or no, I'm going to turn that down to a 59. And then false start, I'm going to turn that down to a 48. I see them doing way too many false starts, and it's just not fair. So those are the slider changes that we might see if we decide to play week number three against the Ravens, uh, which we won't. We're going to simulate to the next week. And uh, injuries are on for this, which kind of sucks. Hopefully no one gets injured. As we lost our first game to the Ravens, 43-17, to we were, got crushed. Let's see what happened. Who's our quarterback? Is it Joe Flacco? It is. No touchdowns for him. Carson Palmer took over. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Jeremy Garoppolo, no touchdowns, two interceptions. That is brutal. Uh, Terrence West, 20 attempts, 72 yards, two touchdowns. He fumbled. Marcus Wiley had two touchdowns. Average 5.4 on the ground as a backup. It's interesting. Rushing, or receiving, excuse me. Uh, Jeremy Macklin, 10 catches, 101 yards and a TD. And uh, Jimmy Garoppolo had no touchdowns. So, what about yardage? Do we have anybody? Not really. No one really caught the ball at all. <laughs> Blocking, sacks given up from Trent Brown, Josiah Mahaffey. And then defensively, Ruben Foster, 10 tackles, tackles for loss. Uh, he had two DeForest Buckner had two quarterback sacks, one and a half for Brandon Williams, one and a half for Solomon Thomas, one for DeForest Buckner. Willis Burdine also had a half a sack. Interceptions for Tavon Young and Jimmy Smith. And then who forced the fumble for us? That would be uh, Willis Burdine. And they had a couple of forced fumbles as well. I wonder on who, who fumbled. Who fumbled the ball? Can't see here. Do you have to be rushing? Jimmy Garoppolo fumbled. Walter Wiley fumbled. Anyone fumble as a receiver? Can't check. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.